They fled to avoid getting caught in the crossfire. Now the people of Marja are coming back. There are still some pockets of resistance, but after weeks of anticipation and long days of bitter fighting, coalition forces have most of Marja under their control. For the first time, local residents feel safe enough to leave their homes, even share a joke. Some shops in the central market are open, and business is brisk. 260 again. Life is slowly returning to Marja now that the Taliban has been cleared out. The challenge will be keeping it that way. I'm very happy I can open my shop, says the shopkeeper, but I'm worried about the police because all they did last time was shake us down for money. This is the first contingent of Afghan police to arrive in Marja. Residents watch with suspicion as they take over from the disciplined, well-equipped Marines. But they have fought hard for this town. Now they need this batch of fresh Afghan recruits to keep the peace. The U.S. and its allies have invested millions of dollars into training these men, but the Afghan police force is still the weakest part of the clear hold build strategy, and U.S. commanders see it as the only way out of this very long fight. This is uh, the next post where the other bridges. You do two-man posts on your posts and then you have patrols that go out periodically. The fear here is that, once again, when coalition forces leave, the Afghan police force that replaces them will be weak and corrupt. You must be able to do your job well. Commanders here say this time it's going to be different. The future of these people depends on it. Mandy Clark, CBS News, Marsha.